Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, why men come running when you lean back. Now, really quickly before we get started, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit that bell so you get notified of new content. Okay, let's talk about those 50, wait, 50%, is it 50% or is it 50% of men <laughs> who keep, who come running when you lean back? Okay, so now I know many of you have heard this term, leaning back, you should lean back, you should be in your feminine power and you should lean back when a man feels distant, when a man ghosts, when a man runs away, when, a, when he pulls away, when he gets scared, all these things is you've been so told by so many coaches to lean back because by leaning back, he's gonna rush in to come see you. He's gonna come running in to see you or to be with you because you've leaned back, you've created that space, you've created that space to make him want to miss you. Because there's this fantasy that when we miss someone, we fall in love with them. And I'm here to say, ugh, that's such a crock of shit. We don't fall in love when we miss you. In fact, I've shot a video about one of the myths about uh, how men fall in love and the whole concept of missing. But I wanna lean in to this conversation of leaning back. Now, on some level, leaning back makes sense. If you're a woman who comes, who puts in way more effort than the man puts in effort, then it's important to come back to the 50. So I want you to think of, of like a football field. I'm a man, I'm gonna think football terminology. I know, thankfully, a lot of women love football. Is there's two goalposts, and in the center is the 50 yard line. And if you guys are right at the 50 yard line. You're right there together. That's the perfect place to be. But if he's over here and you're always coming here that you pass the 50 yard line, then I do recommend leaning back to the 50 yard line of effort. In other words, effort should be mutual. It should be, in other words, fluid. If he puts an effort, you put an effort. If you put an effort, he puts an effort into the relationship. You're investing equally at the 50 yard line of relationship. So there is some value from this understanding of leaning back is from the perspective of if you've given too much to come back to center. Great advice, love that. However, many of you have been conditioned that this leaning back is gonna make him come towards you. And that's true for 50% of the men who have a needy, anxious, needy attachment style, okay? actually. Even avoidant attachment styles will do this because here's the problem. When you've leaned back, internally he feels abandoned. It's going to trigger a lot of his potential abandonment issues. And he may rush to come get you, but it's not from a healthy place. It's not from a healthy place. That's why that advice is so bad because all he's doing is reacting to your abandonment and he's going to come forward and try to get you. So he's going to go past the 50 yard line to come get you. And as soon as he does, he's going to go back to his old behavior. This isn't a healthy way to initiate a really successful, healthy relationship. In fact, if you're not familiar with the book Attached, the book Attached, it talks about love attachment and love attachment are both anxious attachment styles and avoid attachment styles. It's how we attach ourselves to another human being. So I highly recommend you understand how this, read this book and understand that this lean back concept might get him running back to get you, but it's coming from that place of fear inside of him. Not fear of, and the fear of abandon, not because he values you. Think about that. Wow, wait, pause. He's running back because you've triggered his abandonment issues and he's coming back to get love from mom or dad, which he didn't get as a child? Or is he running back because he realizes he loves you? Let's be real, that's not happening. And the fact is, if you have to lean back as a manipulation method to get him to come forward, it's already a dysfunctional relationship. And I'm here to say, ladies, and I know you're not going to like what I'm about to say, but I think 97% of people are just fucked up, myself included. It's just a matter of degrees. 
We have some people on the incredibly emotionally unhealthy realm, those narcissists, those sociopaths, those bipolar and, and borderline personalities, men and women alike, okay? And no disrespect to them, I'm just saying they're deeply troubled and makes them difficult to be in relationship. Then you have those all the way at the other end of the spectrum that are relatively secure. They've healed their childhood wounds and traumas. They've recognized that they take personal responsibility for their choices in their own life. So do you see where I'm going with all this? Is every, most everyone is in the middle. And a lot of dating advice is designed to trigger the unhealthy emotions with us that comes us running back because we're in fear and not because we're deeply in love. And I'm here to say that everyone has to begin by falling in love with themselves first. Hence why I wrote my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? I wrote this book because when a healthy person, or at least someone who's healing and is working on emotional healthiness, is meeting someone else that's emotionally healthy, emotionally mature, they have a better chance of being in a relationship. So you don't have to play these leaning back games to get him running towards you because he's only running towards you because he got triggered by abandonment issues, most likely. And that's not meaning, and you're going to go through this dysfunction over and over and over again. This is why it's so imperative that you, this is why I'm a big proponent, my book talks about it, is beginning a daily practice of personal development, self-help, and spiritual work. So you become confident in your sovereignty. You retain your power. Because what I've witnessed with so many women, you give your power away to a guy. You, you basically, you, A, you're in, it's incumbent upon him for him it's incumbent upon him to love you for you to feel good about yourself. And the minute he has doubt, uncertainty, fear, and God forbid he projects that onto you, his doubts, fears, and uncertainty, it's going to create a whole chaotic mess. Just understanding, I'm, I'm just here to talk about the leaning back advice. It's designed for you to come back to center, and it's not a manipulation technique to get him coming back. OK, and quite frankly, it's really designed for you to lean into your own self-love, your own empowerment. Don't give your power away. Lean back into your own power, because when you're in your own power, then you should attract a person that's also in their own power. And you may not be able to fix the guy that's got attachment issues, but you can certainly move on to a more healthier relationship once you begin on loving on yourself. And that's my invitation for you today. Okay. All right. I'm sure you have a lot of questions. I'm sure some of you are even going to argue. Please post a comment. I want to hear about it. Ask a question. I read almost every comment. I do my best to respond. So feel free to get a conversation going. And if you feel like this had value for you and you'd like a little more of a personal touch, hit the button below to learn about private coaching to schedule a one-on-one -on -one discovery call with me. All right, I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First, starting off by giving myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug. I'm going to invite you to give yourself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug. I'm going to ask you to turn to the person next to you and have, give them a big, gigantic bear hug because guess what? Hugs are a great source of love and we can always use a lot more love in our lives. And that's my request of you today. Thank you so much and wishing you a super duper wonderful, fantastic day. Thanks. Bye-bye now.